What if I told you I found a menace of an ISO build? A build that can act like a slasher at any moment in time. Or become a sharpshooter and shoot from Steph Curry range. Maybe even be an elite defender and chase down every rim runner in sight. Or unlock every drill move you'd need to be one of the fastest builds in the game. Or maybe you want to take it to the post and be like Kobe, MJ, or Kareem. While unlocking the three best takeovers in the game, I think I found one of the most game-breaking builds in all of NBA 2K23. Subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and let's get into it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, we got a new build for video for y'all. Now, I just want to make something clear. I'm not telling y'all to make these builds or anything. It's just y'all, every time I stream, every time I make a video, y'all are always asking me, yo, what build is that? Show us how to make that build. And I have a lot of success with my builds. And this build right here, I've been having a lot of success with. This is my updated record right now. Now, don't mind the rec record. I actually didn't play a single rec game with this build. I'd be playing randoms with or rec with randoms. But anyways, we'd be playing a lot of 1v1 with this build, a little 2v2 as well. And we've been going crazy with this build, barely losing any games. So for the people that have been asking for this build, or maybe the people that are on a search for a new build, I'm going to show you guys how to make this build, why I made this build the way I did. I'm going to be showing gameplay to backing this build up. And what I would not do is skip to the end and just look at the stats because I'm telling you, there's going to be some stats that you're going to be questioning and you're going to be like, oh, there's no way he just did that. But I'm telling you, even for your future builds, you're going to want to do some of the things that I did with this build. So make sure to drop a like on this video if you guys want me to make more builds because I'm really excited to just keep making more builds, keep using more builds. Y'all already know that's what I like to do. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 1 million subscribers on the way but anyways let's go ahead get into the gameplay then we're going to be showing you how to make the build the badges for the build and all the animations i use for the build so let's get into it let's start with the gameplay first we're going to be going over defensive clips you're going to see a lot of chase downs just like that look at the perimeter shot contest that dude's literally falling down to the floor of me being there so any stats that you're questioning on later in this video this gameplay is going to show you that this build can really do it all another chase down block what this build is really known for is its defense. It is a rim protecting build. Look at the blocks and animations I get on this build. This build is not even close to being maxed out yet either. I wanted to wait to make this build or to make this build video until it was maxed. But, oh my God. I mean, look at these contests, bro. But y'all wanted the build really bad. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drop it early for y'all. I don't have any core badges yet. I'm waiting to get my core badges. But yeah, this build I've noticed gets way more different defensive animations than any of the other builds I have made so far. I mean, I'm getting blocks on this build that I didn't even know existed in this game like that one. Like, what was that animation? Like, I completely just crumbled that dude and made him completely fall away from the ball. Look at, I mean, this dude was getting destroyed. You see, I swat the ball away from him right there. Now he's cold. I rip him. He picks it up, goes back to the rim. I block him, gets it back. Like, this build is crazy. Get the defensive stop, get the rebound. And that wasn't the end for this dude. We're going to go ahead, get a three right here. This build can do it all. I mean, these are defensive clips right here we're going to be showing. I'm going to be showing play, making, shooting, finishing and um post uh move post scoring uh clips and all that stuff but look at he misses again the, the interior defense on this build is insane like the blocks and everything i'm telling you with these six nine builds the badge count is not everything you're already gonna get most of the badges because the thing that's good about six nines is that they get those tier one tier two badges like the best badges in the game are in tier one and tier two for them so I'd rather on these six nines, and yes, this build is six nine. Look at that block animation. I'd rather like go for the actual quality badges and quality stats instead of going for like a high badge count. And yes, this build can shoot. This build can dribble. This build can drive. This build can play defense. These are defensive clips that I'm showing right now. We're going to go through all of them as well. Look at that chase animation. I mean, I'm telling you, bro, if you are annoyed with rim runners, this might be the build for you. Another big reason I made this build. Look at that animation, by the way. I mean, 
I've never even seen that before. They give him a shock lock. Look at this dude's trying to do the scoop layups. We say no. It can defend post scores as well. Look at this dude's trying to bully me. I'm right there. I'm going to get up. Look at also like 100%. Look at look at this funny clip. I'm hanging on the rail. <laughs> and he's still going to stop. Like, what is that, bro? Look at it. We we're, I get a lot of pinned like, block animations too. I really be looking like LeBron out here. Look at he. I'm on his hip and I'm still wrapping around him getting a block. He gets the ball back and watch. This is the first play of the game, by the way. It's not like we have takeover or anything. Look at, we already had takeover now because of those three blocks. Look at, I have double takeover and the score is zero to zero, y'all. It is zero to zero and I have double takeover because of that first of the possession of defense. Absolutely insane. Now, I don't have a lot of like part clips. I will mainly have 1v1 clips. That's because I've really, oh my God, snatch block. I mean, that was ridiculous. This build, <laughs> look at that animation. I'm telling you, if you are tired of rim runners, you want to make this build. You know, blocks are not that good in this game. And we get in the contact there, right, right there. Blocks are not that good in this game. And they a lot of people are talking about how they're going to buff chase down potentially, bro. If they buff chase down, do too. I'm telling you, it's going to be insane because this build gets Hall of Fame chase down. It gets gold anchor. I get a 93 block and I get rim protecting takeover, which is the one of the biggest reasons I made this build was for rim protecting takeover. In my opinion, obviously, Luma's range is probably the best takeover in the game. But rim protecting takeover has got to be the second best. It's better than lock takeover. It's not even close in my opinion. But yeah, so we get a lot of blocks. You're gonna just I'm just throwing a bunch of clips in here, just as much as I can that I already have. Like now, like I said though, this build's not completely maxed. I don't have core badges. This build's gonna be a lot better when it is maxed out. Like I'm flopping and I'm still getting a steal. I mean, this build's getting stops and I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> like, like, come on, bro. Like, hey, look at that animation. I've never seen that. I remember clicking that. I was like, what was that? I literally just took the ball away from him when he was driving to me. And this build also gets a bunch of on-ball steals. It can get in lanes as well. Very good defender. There's nothing, in my opinion, there's nothing defensively. Oh, by the way, this is all one clip. I ripped this guy three times in a row in one game. Look at this. Literally three times in a row. And I just kept ripping him. This build gets an 80, I think 86 or 87 steal. I mean, he started flopping. They was just getting ridiculous at that point. This is going to be another pin block animation that I'd be getting sometimes. Absolutely insane. But now we're moving on to the shooting and playmaking clips. I wish I had more dribbling clips, but I really don't. I'm going to show you how fast my player really is in the Gatorade facility later in this video. Yeah, I didn't really get a lot of clips. Like, I have, like, I definitely be moving. By the way, that's a fill, 48 mid range right there. I just graded 21%. So, if you're questioning the mid range later in this video, trust me, you're going to see a lot of mid range clips. I can shoot from half court with this build. I can shoot, I can go seven for seven with this build. This build's a very good shooter. If you're questioning the limitless range badge later in this video, I can shoot from literally beyond half court with this build. No problem. Um, especially with that takeover I get. Yeah, if you're open with this build, you're basically going to hit every time as long as you're timing your shot correctly. This build can also move a lot faster than most 6.9s because it does have Hall of Fame quick first step. I don't know if I'm getting the right clips here to show you how fast this build really is. But like I said, later in the video, I'm going to show you in the Gator facility. But look at me. James Harden step back from beyond limitless range. That's green. Look at this shot. I mean, we're just trolling at this point. Step back from the hash. And we're still greening that. I mean... And we still got some defensive clips right here. Look at that stop right there. We're going to go back out, get a three. I'm telling you, this build is insane. It gets all the drill moves you would want on a 6'9 as well. It's literally just the best version of a 6'9. The only thing I could say about this build that you might question or that you should question is the rebounding. That is it, okay? But I don't. I haven't had a huge issue with it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, y'all saw my record in the beginning of the video. We win most, most of our games. Look at the finishing clips, though, too. Wait until I start using the dunk meter. I mean, damn. We put in dudes on the floor. And yes, I get quick drop-offs one. I get a bunch of unblockable dunk packages. I get the LeBron dunk package. I have a lot of good dunk packages. But when I start using the dunk meter, I do get contact dunks. So I'm going to get a lot of contact dunks on this build when I start mastering that dunk meter. I don't have any dunk meter clips in this video. But we still be getting contact dunks without even using it. I'm telling you, this build is elite at every level when it comes to finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense. And that's why I call it the four-way menace because it's a menace type build. It's menace in the way it protects the rim and it's menace in the way that it can really play any play style, whether it's dribbling, shooting, slashing, or you're going to see posting up as well. 
We're going to show some post up clips in a second here after we show this uh, last slashing clip right here. Look at you question the driving layup. I just made that heavily layup. Okay. Now look at the post up game. This is where this build gets glitchy. It gets a 99 post control. I can throw people off of me with no takeover and be like a post score. I can also post fade with a, this is clips of when I had a 58 mid range. So if you're questioning the mid range, look at these post clips. I can post hop shot. I can post fade with or without takeover. You do get post scoring takeover on this build. Look at, I have no energy, no adrenaline boost, no stamina. I'm gassed. I have a 58 mid range in this clip. Watch this post hop shot or post fade away. Boom, money green. I create so much space. Look at, we got, we're testing out post scoring takeover right here. Hop shot, get to my spot, midi. It's money. This, if you are a good post player, I'm not even like a post player. And I'm over here. Look at, he bites on the fake green. I mean, oh my gosh. Post fade away in his mouth, yellow, green. Look at, he thinks I'm driving. Hit him with the post hop shot out of the corner, green. I'm not even a good post player. And I'm over here dominating people in the post with little to no experience with post scoring. You can literally be Kobe on this build. But anyways, let's get to how to make the build. Okay, if you skip to this part of the video, I would recommend go watching the gameplay um, if you have any questions about why I upgrade things because that's going to help you out a lot. Uh, anyways, we're going to show you guys exactly how to make this build step by step. Now, I would recommend really listening to what I have to say because I already know there's going to be some people in the comments about, oh, there's no way you did this. There's no way you did that. Oh, this is dumb. This is bad. Listen, I have a 94, 95, 1% for a reason with this build. I don't lose with this build. I, I play a lot of 2K. I have played a lot of 2Ks. I have success with this build. I know what I'm talking about. Y'all got to trust me on this, okay? So I'm going to explain everything I do. So we go on 6-9. Now, I made. I have another 6-9. If you have that build, that build's still very good. If I think that build's just as good as this build. It's just there's so many different versions of a 6-9 you can make that I want to make other ones. You know what I'm saying? I might even make another 6-9 that has like a 99 dunk, and we'll see how that goes. Who knows? So you're going to go 6-9. You're going to get a lot of good badges in the tier one and tier two section with a six nine so that's why i wouldn't look at badge count i'm already knowing there's gonna be some people in the comments oh my six nine's better it's got this amount of badges the, i'm telling you badge count does not matter with a six nine because you're gonna get all the good badges regardless so you're gonna want to go 202 pounds the reason we go 202 pounds is because if we go one pound lighter you do not get 99 post control and you're gonna see why in a second why we need 99 post control we need 99 post control on this build so you're gonna go 202 pounds and you don't want to go any heavier than that because then you're going to go to a drop to a 74 speed with ball. Um, and you don't want to do that. Okay. So you want to be as fast as possible with the acceleration as well. Because if you go any higher, you might lose an acceleration. And we want Michael Jordan uh, dribble style, which is at 75 speed with ball as well. So we're going to go 202 pounds. And then when it comes to wingspan, we don't want to go max because we then we don't get agent threes on silver, which is at an 83 three pointer. And this would give us an 82. Now you're probably like, okay, then you go 7 6, right? Because you get an 83 three pointer. Now, a big reason why I made this build is for the takeovers, okay? I want sharp and rim take on this build. I want those takeovers. I think those are the two best takeovers in the game by far, and I don't think it comes even close. So if you go 7 6, you do not get sharp and rim. You're either going to get one or the other, depending on how you make the build. So you have to go 7 5 because the 84 three-pointer is what gets you sharp and rim take. It's hard to explain, but it's the only way to get both, okay? So you have to go 7-5 wingspan. Now, if you don't care about those takeovers, honestly, yeah, you can go 7-6. I feel like that's the most important thing about this build is the takeover. So yes, you're gonna have to go 7-5. We're gonna go compact. You can go whatever you want right there. Now, when it comes to the finishing, I want the contact dunks I need. The, all the contact dunks I need are gonna be at an 86 driving dunk. I don't need higher than that, okay? Um, close shot, we're just doing this for badges. Uh, we're gonna get it to a 69. Now we're gonna touch finishing in more in a second here, but the first thing I wanted to explain is why we upgrade our post control to a 99. So as you can see, my ball control can max to an 87. That is only gonna give us goal quick first step. And you can't get Hall of Fame unless you have an 89 ball handle or an 88 speed with ball. But you can get Hall of Fame if you put your, your post control to a 99 and that's why this 69 is going to be one of the fastest if not the fastest build in the game at its size okay because now as you can see if we go back to playmaking now that i put it at a 99 i get hall of fame quick first step and 
I get Hall of Fame Unpluckable, which is very important in this game. Trust me. Hall of Fame Unpluckable is super good in this game. You do not get ripped nearly as often as anybody else in this game with Hall of Fame Unpluckable. All the people complaining about getting uh, the, the ball ripped from them, you're not going to be one of those when you're using this badge, okay? Now, if you guys didn't already know, I'm going to explain this again later in this video because I'm already knowing dudes are going to skip and then they're going to be talking about it in the comment section. The thing that makes your build faster in general is actually not speed with ball and it's not speed. You're probably thinking, Double H, you're an idiot. There's no way that's true. It is true. It's been tested as well. The two things that make you fast with the ball and fast in general and make your build fast is your acceleration, your quick first step level, and your height. So obviously we're 6'9". We can't control that now. So the, the, the things that make us faster is acceleration, quick first step. And that's why we want quick first step on the highest level so we can be the fastest possible. And that's why we're going to go 99 post control. Now, if you're questioning the layup, you go watch the gameplay. We were making heavily contested layups. I don't have a single problem with finishing. Um, we get contact dunks with not even using the dunk meter. The finishing's fine. 18 finishing is more than enough bad is. Three-pointer, we're going to an 84. This is going to give you silver agent threes. They're probably wondering, why don't you just go to 85? The reason we didn't do that is so we can get higher wingspan and so we can get the takeovers that we want here, which is both sharp and rim. Now, sure, you're probably wondering, oh, but I really want silver limitless. Oh, I can literally shoot from half court with bronze limitless. There's no, I don't not tell any difference. I cannot tell a single difference between bronze and limitless um bronze and silver limitless range and i do just fine with that so we're gonna go with an 84 right there now when it comes to playmaking we're actually gonna go down to an 85 ball handle now you could if you really want keep the 87 for clamp breaker and maybe silver mismatch i don't care about those things so i'm gonna go with the 85 just to get the uh, dribble moves 75 speed ball is perfect for michael jordan dribble style and then pass accuracy i'm gonna go to a 75 and that's gonna give us the lebron james pass uh passing style which is all i need and we're going to be putting our plus four baddest that we get from my career, a lot of them on some of these things that are going to give us some more baddest. And I'll explain that later in the video, which ones you want to put those extra baddest on. So yeah, it's going to give us 19 plumbing right there. Now we can move on to the defense, which is the best thing about this build, in my opinion. You're going to want to go to a 70. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just put the interior defense for now at 70. It's going to be higher than that. Uh, perimeter defense 79 now you're probably wondering why don't you go to an 86 for gold challenger and silver clamps the reason is is because that will give us lock take and it won't give us rim take and trust me my perimeter defense is fine at 79 i get all the stops i need we're actually going to put it to an 80 later in the video but we're going to leave it at this right now uh and yeah i want rim take i don't want uh lock take anyways 85 steals so we get that silver glove we're going to go with a 93 block which is not only going to give us Hall of Fame Chase, but it's going to give us Gold Anchor and Gold Pogo as well. And then we're going to put the interior defense to a 76, which is going to give us an extra badge. And then the rebound, we're going to leave it at this for now. It's actually going to actually no, we're going to put it to a 49 to get the extra badge. That's going to give us 19 defensive badges. Now, I will say the only week there's one weakness with this build, and that is the rebounding. If you want to mess around with the build, take off something for something else, you can put up the rebound. And I wouldn't have a problem with that. But personally, I do not have rebound on this build. Now, this is when things get interesting. And a lot of people are going to get at me in the comment section with this one. And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. But anyways, like I said, the speed aspect in this game is quick first step and acceleration. So we're maxing our acceleration. That's the most important. All right, what did I just do? We're maxing our acceleration. So that's what we're doing right there now speed is going to be at a 70 for now we're going to put it higher now let me explain this because i already know y'all are going to be on this so give me a second here 75 vertical for our contact dunks that we put up there and a 95 stamina because when you get gym right it'll go to 99 uh it won't physically show that but it plays like that in game anyways there's a couple extra attributes we have left since we're a 98 overall you know you could put it on some other things you're not going to get an extra badge anywhere um you know what i'm saying there's not going to be an extra badge anywhere that you can get so there's no point in like really going out of your way to put it somewhere else really you know what i'm saying we've really met our threshold so what i did is make the perimeter defense an 80 and then put the speed to a 72. now you're probably wondering double h your speed's only a 72 that is terrible i'm telling you speed actually does not like i know it sounds crazy i know i'm saying it crazy speed does not matter nearly as much this year if i were you on every single build you make this year put your speed to a 70 do not even put it higher than that even joe knows who's another very good build creator in the 2a community i don't know if you guys know who that is very big youtuber he puts all his builds at 70 speed 
If I were you, I would start doing this with your builds because I have this build maxed in like the most of the attributes. It's, it's a 95 overall right now. And I notice zero difference with a 72 speed for my other build that has like an 80 speed. There is not a single difference. Defensively, there is not a difference. Offensively, there is not a difference. And I'm actually faster with this build than my build with an 80 speed because I have the damn near the same acceleration, but I also have a higher quick first step at Hall of Fame. So I am faster on this build. Now, whether you want to believe me or not, that speed doesn't matter as much this year and you can go with a 70 speed on all your builds, sure don't believe me that's fine you can put your attributes to speed and take them off of something up here go ahead and do that that's fine but i clearly have a lot of success with this build so to go over some of the things that you might be questioning in the comments speed that's not what makes your player faster acceleration height and quick first step on hall of fame is going to make us faster and this build is one of the fastest builds in the game especially at 6 9. rebounding now that is the one weakness i will say the rebounding is one weakness Moving on from that, everything else on def defense is elite. This is the best blocking build I've probably ever had in any 2K. Steals the ball a bunch with Silver Glove. It's basically a max steal on this build. I think you can only go to an 87. Perimeter defense is perfectly fine. Interior defense is even better than any of my other builds. Absolutely insane, good, insanely good interior defense. Very fast build, gets all the dribble moves at 85. Passes perfectly with LeBron. Passing style. Uh, mid range 69 a lot of you are probably not gonna like that i should go watch the clips i'm making heavily mid ranges yellow mid ranges i'm post fading with a 58 midi because on my build i don't even have it at a 69 midi yet and i don't even use mini magician yet and i only have a 58 midi when i get it to 69 it's gonna be even better okay uh, i can shoot from half court with a bronze limitless driving lamp go look at the clips so we were making heavily layups i'm getting contact dunks with no dunk meter my post control is insane. This build can also be a post score whenever it wants. And yeah, that is the final stats for the build. Yeah, these are the final stats. Now, to take a look at the baddies, which is another reason why this build is so overpowered. I mean, look at the finishing baddies. All tier one. We can literally be a post score whenever we want. Hall of Fame post spin, tier one. Hall of Fame back down. Hall of Fame drop stepper. Slithery's a tier one. Acrobat's a tier one. Gold limitless takeoff. Bronze fearless. And then a silver post rider, which we're going to eventually core at tier three. I mean, that is crazy. The good amount of badges we unlock. Badge count does not matter on six nines. The thing that matters the most is what badges you unlock because you're going to get most of these badges regardless because they're on tier one and tier two. They're so cheap. Amps is a tier one. That's insane. That's one of the best ones. Claymore, if you're a spot up. Mini Magician's a tier one. Those are also good. Space Grid is very good. And so is Volume and Clutch Shooter. They're all tier one. You can get Hall of Fame Clutch Shooter on this build. And then you get Silver Agent 3s with the best shooting badge in the game. Gold Green Machine, one of the best shooting badges in the game, too. They're both on Tier 2. And then you can use a Bronze Limitless on Tier 3. I don't really use these other Tier 3s, but if you want a Quorum, you can go ahead and do that. Playmaking, we get Hall of Fame Quick First Step. Hall of Fame Unpluckable. Silver in the other dribbling Tier 3s. You get Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, Gold Hyperdrive, and some decent passing badges. And you also get Hall of Fame Vice Grip, too. Gold Menace, Silver Glove, Gold Workhorse very good tier one bad is you also get silver challenger bronze clamps silver interceptor hall of fame chase which is crazy in this game and the tier threes are good too gold anchor my god I, i'm already using that badge that badge is insane gold pogo as well yeah the badges are very good on this game but moving on to the takeovers this is a big reason why i made this build which is i think is the top three takeovers in the game which is sharp rim and post you might disagree with one of them but it definitely has top two takeovers in the game with sharp and rim I would use limitless range. I think that's the best takeover in the game. Rim protecting takeover. If you're going to go rim, go paint intimidation or stuff blocks. I've been having a lot of success with stuff blocks. A lot of people like paint intimidation too. With the post scoring takeovers, if you like the post scoring fact of this build, I will use post shot daggers if you want to do post fadeaways and hop shots um, or anything like that. I don't post advanced moves is good for like throwing people off you on post spins and drop steps, but I don't think you need it. I'm doing that with no takeover. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even think you need it. So this is what I went with with the takeovers. And now let's go ahead and look at the build name. Now I called it the four way menace in the build title because I think it could do all four things. And it, ha it's a, it has that menace mentality with the blocks and the post scoring that those little secret things they can do, especially with the post score where it could just go from a sharpshooter to a slasher, to a dribbler, to a defender, to a post score. You know what I'm saying? It could really do it all. And so that's why it's called that, but it's called a three point shooter, which is a weird name for this build. I mean, I'll take it, whatever. Let's go ahead, test the build, show you guys what baddies I'm gonna be using when it's maxed out. I don't have any core baddies right now. I'm only a 95 overall as well. 
so i don't even have this build complete maxed out right now so all that gameplay you saw there was a lot of things i didn't even have upgraded anyways so with the finishing we're gonna go gold limbless takeoff we're gonna go hall of fame post spin if you ever get tired no energy just throw some of them off of you you know what i'm saying uh we're gonna go silver uh slithery and then i'm gonna core silver posterizer and then you can do a lot with the extra badges right here i mean if you want to go pro touch if you have layup timing on go ahead and do that i'm gonna go bronze fearless though you can even put on masher as well but i might even i'm not gonna lie i'm probably gonna put on hall of fame drop stepper after that i mean hall of fame drop stepper hall of fame post spin we're gonna be throwing people to the ground like we are a whole post score that is insane so that's what i would go with and then with the shooting bat is you don't need a lot of shooting batters in this game i'm telling you there's not that many good ones for like dribblers all you need is silver agent threes gold green machine and gold amped and honestly you wouldn't need anything else and you'd be fine but we're gonna core bronze limbo's range i don't like any of these other tier three badges especially for a six nine so after this i'm not gonna lie we don't even need another batch but we have five more available so i would put on silver mini magician especially if you want to you know post up and do those post fadeaways and after that i mean you could go silver clutch shooter you can go space crater volume shooter i'm probably gonna go silver clutch oh this is tough i'm actually gonna go gold clutch and that's what we're gonna do right there and that's the setup i would do when i'm maxed and then playmaking hall of fan quick first step one of the biggest reasons why we made this build then we have to go other badges here before we can go tier three so i'm gonna go hyper drive and mismatch that's gonna give us 10. you can go ankle breaker whatever you want maybe a passing badge but then once we get to tier three i'm gonna core unpluckable when i get it there now right now i only get silver cord on, on my build i'm gonna wait until it's hall of fame so I can core Hall of Fame because Hall of Fame Unpluckable is so useful right now, I'm telling you. And then after that, it's really up to you. Um, you can go silver, handles for days, and then this is where the extra badges come into play. I put three extra badges on playmaking, which is you can do as well, and that would give you silver killer combos or silver ankle breaker. Uh, because you get four extra badges when you become a starter in my career. And then if you have a an, another extra badge from hitting level 40 this season, which I do, I put that extra one on defense. So yeah, you can put three or four extra badges here. Doesn't really matter. Just put at least three and you should be good to go. You're gonna go Hall of Fame Chase, Silver Challenger, Bronze Clamps, Core Core Gold Anchor, which is insane. I mean, the blocking badges are crazy. And we still have six extra badges left with literally the four best defensive badges in the game, damn near. Silver Glove as a tier one. Then we can get put on Workhorse um, at goal, which I'm going to put on because I don't have a rebounding, so I, I want Workhorse. You can even put on Menace on goal if you want. I'm going to put it on Bronze, and that's good right there. And even Maybe you even want to post Lockdown on Bronze. That's cool, too um i'm not gonna lie sometimes i i i might even take off clamps and just go gold menace bronze pose you know what i'm saying but for now we'll go with this um as the bad setup when i'm maxed and yeah those are the badges that i would run with when it's maxed out so as you can see i'm on the three-point shooter right now we're about to hit goat tier soon and the reason why i'm not goat tier yet is probably because i'm playing a lot of theater and it doesn't give you a lot of progression for that yeah, we're at 95 overall. I got all my badges. I just don't have any badges cored right now on this build, which I'm really waiting for because that's going to give me way extra badges in a lot of these categories. Now, let's go ahead and look at the animations that I use for this build. Um, this is all the animations I use. These are all the dribble moves I use. Uh, these are the dribble pull-ups, all that good stuff that I use. And when it comes to my dunk packages, here are the dunk packages I use. Uh, on this build i don't use any two foots except for the contact dunk uh and then we also use the pro contacts on one foot i also use quick drops off one on the one foot i don't use any standing dunks and then i use we have some unlocked here but i don't use any here except for lebron right now and then the pro contact alley-oops and that's it for my dunk packages but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this was helpful if it was make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new Gonna definitely be making some more builds in the future just because I like making builds. Um, if you don't like this build or you're looking for another build, we have other builds in the channel. You know what I'm saying? This is just a build that I made for myself. I think it's a good build. I enjoy playing with it. I have a lot of success with it as well. So I'm gonna continue using it in the future and definitely will have it in the vault regardless. Hopefully, y'all enjoy the video. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.